severe weather week continues tonight with a look at watches and warnings. What are the differences between them? Well, we're going to tell you. Meteorologist Will Stafford answers the question and takes a look to see what gets them to occur. Do you know the difference between a watch and a warning? Both terms are used pretty frequently in our weathercast. But what do they actually mean? A watch means severe weather could happen. These are usually issued for a larger area. A warning means conditions are happening. These are issued for a much smaller area. Severe thunderstorm warnings have just been issued. Severe thunderstorm warnings in effect. Now a severe thunderstorm warning. But a question we get all the time in the weather office. What makes a thunderstorm severe? I would say when it, the temperatures rise greatly in the daytime. Like consistent thunder and lightning. Severe rain that piles up maybe an inch or more. And heavy winds, roughly like 30, 50 mile an hour winds. I feel like I should know the answer but I, I just don't. The answer, wind and hail. By definition, a storm is considered severe when it either has hail one inch in diameter or larger, that's about the size of this quarter, or when the winds have reached 58 miles an hour or higher. For perspective, that's about the speed of the average car going down the expressway. But why are these two things the classifiers of severe storms? Phil Heisel, the warning coordination meteorologist with the National Weather Service in Blacksburg, explains it's all about when has the capability of doing the most damage. When we issue a severe thunderstorm warning, it means winds are greater than 58 miles an hour that can bring down trees on your homes, on your vehicles, or there's going to be large hail that can cause damage. While severe thunderstorm warnings are fairly common in the spring and summer months, it doesn't mean you should take them lightly. In fact, you should take the same steps in a severe thunderstorm warning as you would in a tornado warning. The only difference between the two is the tornado winds are rotating and the straight line winds are not. The damage is, is very similar. So when we issue a severe thunderstorm warning, that is a life threatening situation where people need to take the appropriate action, get indoors and get away from windows. Our ABC 13 weather app can help out with that. Once downloaded, you can set up your app to notify you of any warnings based on your location. Recently, the Weather Service has started tagging warnings based on how much damage they could do. And let's not forget that sometimes severe thunderstorms also produce one other thing, tornadoes. If there is a thunderstorm that shows weak rotation, uh, instead of waiting for that rotation to get stronger to pull the trigger on a tornado warning, we can apply a tornado possible tag to alert our partners like in the media that, hey, this is a storm that's starting to rotate. We're paying closer attention to it for the potential of a tornado. And let's 